Hey, hey, it's Rob, and uh, I think we just had the 40th anniversary of the uh, debut album by the Flock of Seagulls. Hard to believe, but uh, this is in fact the case. Um, be that as it may, uh, there was an earlier version of everyone's favorite song on that record, of course, which is Space Age Love Song. <laughs> I saw your eyes, you made me smile, for a little while I was falling in love, you know, that one, and uh, the earlier version was actually about nuclear war, as many songs were of that era, hey, there's my dog, what do you want, buddy, oh, the ball, he wants the ball, I want the ball, anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, the uh, height of nuclear paranoia, the Reagan era, 1982. And, uh, yeah, so the original topic of the song was nuclear war, as I said. It was called um, Nagasaki. And a sample lyric was, and I got this out of a book about New Wave or whatever, Mike uh, Score, the singer, mentioned that they had an earlier version called uh, Nagasaki, and it was a bomber flies, a baby dies, a mother cries, Nagasaki, even though I think Hiroshima just lays in there better, and uh, I did a cover of this at one point, I actually sang Hiroshima, because I think Hiroshima just... Sounds better phonetically in the song, but uh, anyway, uh, so there you have it. That is the uh, original version of Space Age Love Song about uh, terrible uh, nuclear war breaking out. And, um, you know, I could see why they changed it to something a little more, co you know, commercially feasible, uh, something with a little more potential to get out there on the radio than a song about uh, babies dying and bombers flying. And a bomber flies, a baby dies, a mother cries, Nagasaki. All right. The more you know. Later.